Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Super excited for today's video. It's all about Chanel and I'm trying out four of their new Rouge Allure Velvet lipsticks that came in the cutest case, okay? So we're gonna be swatching all four. I'm gonna be trying all four on and we're gonna be talking a bit. This is my first video of the year. So if you wanna see what this shade is and how the other three shades look and what this cute thing is on my head, just keep watching. And please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. I appreciate it when you do. Now let's jump in. All right, guys. Happy New Year, everyone. Before we jump into this pretty straightforward video, of course, I have to talk about my Breezy Tea product of the day. I am rocking out Bordeaux Boho Headband. This is not the head wrap. This is the headband. Just a wide piece of fabric, okay? For those of you who love this material that we have for our head wraps, but you don't wanna wrap it yourself. You just wanna throw a band on your head and zhuzh it up how you want. This is the beauty of that fabric. You move it. You scrunch it how you want it scrunched. Make it really small, make it wider. It's up to you. They come in lots and lots of colors. There'll be something there for everyone. And they're super easy, yet chic. You know what I'm saying? Super easy, but chic. Slight sheen, so just like our head wraps, you can dress them up if you want. You can dress them down. They're awesome to work out in, okay? You can even sleep in these. They can protect your hair while you sleep. They've got lots of uses. So if you wanna check out any of our Boho headbands, just visit us at breezyt.com or our Etsy shop. Links will be in the description below. This is my first video of the year, so I haven't talked to you guys in a minute. I hope you had a wonderful, wonderful holiday season. I was back home in the States for about three weeks, and that's why I didn't have any videos for you guys. And um, yeah, how was your holiday? I'm, I'm, I'm kind of on the, I don't know, normally I go into each year for business and YouTube I suppose is, is business as well, but clear goals, I always have a goal for YouTube since I've been doing it more seriously. Um, but I have to be inspired. And so far this year, not so much has really like grabbed me. The year is young obviously, so we'll see what's to come, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure, I don't wanna bring anyone videos and, and have them feel inauthentic. I don't wanna just be doing them to do them. I really, really, really want to um, be drawn in by the products I try out. So that's what's leading me this year. So I don't know how many videos I'll do. We'll see, um, but we'll see what catches my eye and 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 um, being mindful of not doing too much. If, if nothing else, maybe that's the goal. I'm not gonna try to buy everything from every collection or I'm certainly not gonna buy every lip product from every collection, but I always want the videos to be authentic and I wanna be into them. This is still supposed to be fun, it's makeup, and so I don't want that to get lost in just volume and trying and trying to bring you every single thing that gets released that, that just doesn't interest me. Um, one of the things I think I might do though is something called Throwback Thursday, um, where I just dig into my collection and maybe something that's been sitting there a couple of years or something that doesn't get as much love as uh, uh, it deserves, I'm gonna bring it back and maybe play with it and pull together a look. If that's something you're interested in, let me know in the comments below, but I think that's one of the things I'm gonna do. It wouldn't be every Thursday, but I wanna go back into stuff I already have. I know I love it. Maybe I just don't show it enough love, and we'll just revisit some products throughout the year. So that's where I am with YouTube, okay? It's still very, Tough doing YouTube and being aware of consumption too. That's another thing, overconsumption. That's always in the back of my mind, like you have enough. So it's a, it's a tough, it's an interesting place to sit. You wanna do the videos, I love doing videos, but you're like, oh gosh. You also wanna have time to enjoy all the things once the cameras are off. So that's where my head is going into this year. But today, is all about Chanel. So first video of the year, it's, it's appropriate that it's Chanel. Chanel has my attention for the spring already. So Chanel is a brand that I love and I didn't talk about it last year, but they're gonna be doing some really interesting stuff this year. They're branching out in terms of who is um, working on makeup products for them. They're bringing in a, a diverse crowd, a younger crowd. So different people are gonna contribute to different lines this year. And it's an exciting time for Chanel. So I'm excited to see 
like the new spin they have on makeup, if it's gonna be more youthful, um, will it still appeal to uh, all of us? It's gonna be a fun year for Chanel. I'm gonna put that out there. I feel like it's gonna be a really fun year, an unexpected year for Chanel probably. And so I'm excited to see what they're gonna do. I'm still gonna ride, I'm still riding the Chanel train, okay? We're gonna, we're gonna take that ride with them. Starting with uh, this fun release. So they recently released their Rouge Allure Velvets and one of the ways you could get them for, unfortunately you can't choose your own. That's my one thing I wish I could have chosen my own, but you can get this really nice case that all four fit in with four pre-chosen uh, lipsticks. So this is the case. They came separately. Uh, I thought the lipsticks were going to be inside. Um, this is the case. Very, very cute. You see it in the palm of my hand. So perfect for travel. And what I love about it is not just the red interior, which I really, really like. So inside we have nice red. This was a nice surprise. There's a mirror up here. So you can just do your lipstick from the top of your um, case. So I thought that was a fun surprise and I'll show you how all four just fit right inside the, the case, okay? So one, two, three, and the fourth one, okay? So all four are stored nicely in here, nice and snug. And then you just zip it up. And not heavy, I mean, this is really, 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 really good travel companion. Four lipsticks is a lot. You know, you can get a lot of use out of four lipsticks on a holiday, and if they can fit this easily, love it. So that's the case, and now let's get into each individual color. I'm really excited to try these out. Now, these are mostly red. I have said it a million times. Red is not really my color. But I'm, I'm open to being wooed. Will Chanel make me a true believer in a red lipstick? I swear every time Chanel releases lipsticks, there are like 800 of them and 700 of them are reds. I don't understand that amount of reds, but okay. I'm gonna go in this time with them, okay? We have Legendaire, which means legendary in English. If nothing else, I have to keep rocking with Chanel to practice my French, right? Next, we have Paradoxal, Paradoxical. This looks like a really pretty red, I can't even lie. Cannot lie, super red, but it looks like a pretty red. Seeing them all together, one, one at a time, it looks like they're all gonna be the same um, shade, but they're really, really not. Next is Rouge V, Red Life. And finally, we have Essential, Essential. This one is actually nudie. They threw a little spanner in the works, okay? So this one's a nudie one against all the super red ones. So that's it, let's try them on. Let me show you all four of them now. Let me try to hold up all four so you can see the differences. And then we're going to, you know, swatch as we go along, try all four on, and we'll be done, guys. We will be done. These are the three red, red, red ones. They're three very different reds. I mean, the lights might make it look like they're closer together than they are. For me, they're three very different reds, and then we throw in this more nudie color. So, okay, excited to try them on. Let's see. Okay, so here's Legendaire. Swatched. Very, very pretty. Let's go. Let's put it on. Okay guys, because I know me, I have to go in slowly. I wanna see how it's gonna look as a stain where I'm more comfortable. So this is Legendaire as a, a stain almost. And now let's take it to its full, 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 full strength. Okay, let's see this. You know, I'm not mad at this color. I always feel like red lipsticks, I really have to have some place to go. That's always what I think of red lipstick. I have to be going somewhere to just throw on a red. To me, the nudes are just so much more casual and everyday, and so that's why I don't really, that's one of the reasons I don't love reds, but this looks beautiful on. It's very, very pretty as a stain and full strength. And I, I'm gonna, uh, 2022, what year are we on? What year are we in? So 2023, I'm going to call it the year I'm going to embrace more red lip products. I'm gonna put it out there because I do think this is pretty. 
uh, Legendaire. Let's get to the next one. Okay, so next up is Rouge V. Rouge V, Red Life. Okay, and this one almost has a little bit of a berry, berry, maybe like a purpley a magenta in there, not as red. I mean, you really, it really is interesting to see how you just think a red is a red is a red. There are just so many reds. And so here is Rouge V. Let's get it on the lips. This is another bright, beautiful color. I don't know. Maybe it's because I have red on my eyes and I have the the red on my hair and there's like a plummy color here deep 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 purple which go pairs perfectly with red i don't know if that's what's going on but it's it's two for two guys i'm really loving the red i get it i get it. it's very pretty but let's talk about this texture a bit i'm used to velvets that are a little more matte i don't want to say dry but this is you can see there's a little bit of a sheen there. There's a little bit of a sheen um, to these lipsticks. It's not as velvety as some of the other velvets I have. So I love how it feels on the lips. It's as you can see, it's super saturated. I didn't even go in this time with just a dab. I wanted to see it at full strength. So incredibly saturated, beautiful shades. And yeah, this is Rouge V. Let's get to number three. And just quickly, as always, I will always have swatches on my Instagram page a day or two after um, a video goes live here on YouTube. So if you wanna see the swatches, comparison swatches, usually in sunlight, um, there'll be video and photo swatches of them next to each other so you can really gauge the difference in the shade in natural light. I will absolutely have them on my Instagram page so you can stop by my Instagram page, follow me of course, and um, yeah, just wanted to put that out there. So again, here's Essential, Essential, okay? And here is the swatch here. This is the rosiest one of the four, okay? This is the one that's giving a bit more rose, so I'm excited. This is the one that I would normally be more comfortable with, so I'm excited to try this one on. I'm gonna go full strength. I wouldn't dab this on. I'm okay with this color, so let's see. This would be my most comfortable naturally. Very, very pretty. Still got those red notes, but it's it's leaning more rosy red, which I can completely uh, appreciate. Uh, this is so creamy going on. It's a really, really creamy, creamy lipstick. Um, I don't know, have I said that about other velvets? I don't know. Maybe this is the creamiest of the velvets that I have. Very, very nice. Again, so weightless, so pigmented. Gets you there really, really quickly. So I'm, I'm actually really happy with this color because it's the most comfortable for me, but it's also a pretty color. Okay, they had to switch it up. Throw something else in there, Chanel. Now, had I had the option to choose other colors, I would have done a little bit more, you know. I would have chosen a red, at least one, but there are deeper colors too I would have tried. I really wish they would have um, at least had two options so you have a little bit more range, but okay. I'm happy with, with the four, so, the three so far. This is very pretty. This is the most understated one of the four. Uh, so let's get to the last one. And then finally we have Paradoxal. Paradoxical. This was a nice, rich red here. It's the final one here. Perhaps the deepest one, so of the four. Probably the one, yeah, the deepest one of the four, I would say. A very, very pretty, pretty shade. Again, it's giving almost like a berry red, a little raspberry in there, very black, maybe like a blackberry uh, red shade. Very, very pretty. Let's get this one on now. This one is yum, like you can see there's a little bit more depth to it. Why do I feel so adult, 45 years old, okay? I feel so much more mature in a red lipstick. What is it about a red lipstick? Uh, this is very, very pretty, I can't lie. Can't lie, I think you guys are gonna see me in more red lipsticks uh, this year for sure. I feel like Chanel's the brand that it needed to happen with maybe to bring me out of my shell because they have so many reds and they're known for their reds. And I'm happy with this one. 
I'm happy with this one. This is very, very pretty. Again, super creamy, slight sheen, weightless. I think these are really, really nice lipsticks with a really, really nice formula. And I do love this little pouch, so yeah. So it's over to you guys. Let me know how you like these lipsticks. Do you have a favorite shade on me? How are you uh, with reds versus nudes? Where do you lean? Where do you lean in that uh, spectrum? Let me know. Let me know if you got any of these shades. Are you going to get the uh, pouch when it comes to you, if it comes to you? Let me know. Let me know about the Chanel Rouge Allure Velvet collection. Of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. I appreciate it when you do, always. And if you want to check out any of our Breezy T boho headbands, any of our head wraps, t-shirt, hair towel wraps, satin line beanies, satin line knit beanies, and all our other hair accessories, just visit us at breezytea.com. For all our lifestyle luxury accessories, you can visit us at fraybybreezytea.com. I will check you guys in the next video. Ciao for now. Bye.